So one of the more common criticisms against NEO and its battery swapping technology is the question what will happen once batteries can charge faster like new technologies coming out for example Xiaopeng is doing this 800 volt um, new type of vehicle and battery charging technology also Audi and Porsche are working on it who knows what Tesla will come up with in the future will this actually make battery swapping obsolete and in this video I will be talking first um, on well what NEO um, themselves has to tell about this issue and secondly I will look into something and I think this is very exciting that I've just found regarding a patent that NEO has filed that also shows you what they're going to do about it so please stick till the very end of this video um, it might be a bit more technical, a little bit more nerdy and also please consider joining my Patreon so this enables me to do this type of deep research, you know, not only commenting on daily news and stuff like that but rather looking under the hood what's really happening and in case you are from a fund or an institution um, you can also use Patreon in order to directly schedule calls with me in which I can tell you and walk you through all of the research that I've done. But now, without further ado, let's jump into it. The first is not unconventional. I think this question is not unconventional. Right? Take one step. At that time, the power plant will be destroyed. At that time, my power plant is here. The power plant is here. I will get the power plant to build a power plant. Right? But you today can you build a power plant? 我有双向选择的权利, so this is the co-founder and president of NEO and he's making the first point here that is uh, by the time that any new technology, let's take the example here of 800 volt um, uh, charging infrastructure is uh, about to uh, come then of course also the power swap stations will be able to adopt this technology but he's making the point those who are not having battery swap stations will they be able to upgrade um, supercharging stations to battery swap stations? No. And NEO doesn't have this kind of a problem because basically they have both things already, both the swapping as well as the supercharging and he's making the point that currently um, the most scarce resource is actually the parking space and that in this regard on this efficiency metric the battery swapping is actually um, better than the supercharging. We'll and so he's saying it doesn't matter whether or not the charging and the swapping station is working on 400 uh, volt architecture or 800 volt architecture. The advantage of using less space of the battery swap station is not going away in either case. And then he's saying also NEO is researching and developing uh, things in the area of high voltage charging, so 800 volt uh, charging infrastructure. Then, 大电流和高压的充电的装备也在研究也在研发我觉得这一点上呢大家将来不会有什么区别 and so basically such kind of a development won't give competitors any edge over NEO because NEO is basically just doing the same thing here. And then he's repeating kind of the mantra of NEO that the service there is 可充可换可升级最后一点特别关键就是 NEO Power的 提供的服务叫可充可换可升级 meaning you can charge, you can swap and you can upgrade 如果我们只考虑新电池给新车主提供更好的体验 我就想问一句你的存量的现有用户你还管吗? 真正把从卖过的第一台车一直带着还管的好像就我们一家 不是我们比别人高尚是因为我们有换电体系 and he's making the point that the battery technology is increasingly improving still and so he's asking whether or not NEO is actually doing this improvement in the battery technology and he's making the point that the battery technology is increasingly improving still and so he's asking whether or not we give this improvement only to the new car buyers so the latest adopters of the technology or if we also give it actually to those who have been buying before so in summary the NEO co-founder here doesn't see a threat by 
faster charging and new upgraded technology when it comes to charging. So let's say this high voltage uh, technology and Rava says this is something that NEO can adopt anyways, but with the particular aspect that only NEO can actually give this also to earlier customers back because of course for other competitors, um, the consumers would need to get the latest car which supports the newest technology. Now to support this argument, I just found something over this weekend which I think is quite big, which is a patent. And this is uh, really about this case of high voltage charging and infrastructure. And it lays out uh, a couple of plans here by NEO of how they're going to um, deal with this change that is about. And it's actually also referring back to the video that I made yesterday about Axpong possibly adopting battery swapping technology. Will it be NEOs or will it be CATLs? And uh, kind of relating back also to the question whether or not NEO and CATL battery swap might actually be compatible. So here let's jump into this patent and this is a automatic translation and I'm not going to dive into each of the technical aspects here because well I'm just a analyst and I'm not an engineer so I cannot make a sense of all of the details here but basically it is a patent that has just been published on the 11th of February by NEO Automotive Technology so it's definitely a patent filed by NEO and the main two things that I found about this patent is that first it seems like NEO is adopting something similar that we've seen with CATR EVgo um, and adopting some such kind of a chocolate battery pack that can be um, merging different battery packs together so um, we've seen those pictures by um, CATR that they have basically introduced this modular system where a car could just run on one battery pack or it could add a second battery pack or even a third battery pack in terms of how much range they're going to use. But in this case, the patent seems not only um, yeah, adopting such kind of a modularization of the battery pack, but also different um, voltage uh, systems of the battery pack. So um, the 400 volt as well as the um, higher voltage, the 800 volt technology and uh, kind of merging that one into one system. Here's the background in this patent. In the early electric vehicle market, the mainstream electric vehicle high voltage system platform was set to 400 volt for higher efficiency and more convenient charging experience. And with the gradual maturity of the electric vehicle supply chain and related market products, the electric vehicle high voltage system platform will gradually transition from 400 volt to 800 volt. So basically NEO is making the point here that yes, there will be this change to this more um, high voltage technology which enables faster charging times. And so they mentioned that this transition from 400 to 800 volt is roughly divided in two steps. First, the vehicle high voltage platform is upgraded from 400 to 800 and the vehicle drive system and air conditioning system and other platforms are kept at 400 volt. The vehicle drive systems and air conditioning systems and other platforms are upgraded from 400 to 800 volt. However, the charging piles for charging electric vehicles in the charging scheme and the batteries of the power swap stations used in the power swapping scheme also need to undergo the processes of gradually transitioning from 400 volt to 800 volt. Therefore, during the entire transition process, there will be high voltage batteries for vehicles and the voltage vehicle load, including the vehicle drive system and air conditioning system voltage and charging pile voltage on the swap battery voltage are not completely consistent. So in this pattern filing, they're also showing the situation that later on you will have different vehicle types that are running on different um, technology infrastructures for example here this is the car model D which has the 800 volt um, infrastructure so the technology in the car is optimized for this um, high power um, technology while there are other car models like the car B and the car A that are running still so there's are older models on the 400 volt technology and then you will see the battery packs, uh, which can be batteries that are optimized for the 800 volt, but also um, battery packs that can um, do both the 400 volt, 800 volt, only the 400 volt. And basically how these different um, car architectures as well as um, battery systems can be interrelated and changed between those different car models. 
And basically what they're introducing here, this is the example of a battery swap station that is also having the ability to charge with this 800 volt infrastructure or architecture and technology. And so it seems that would be a upgraded battery swap station that can do this. And then having a, uh, well, a battery here that's consisting of two um, separate uh, battery packs here, uh, the battery pack A and B, and both of them are 400 volts. But it seems like that according to this pattern filed by NEO, they will be able to use those older battery packs, so the pack A and pack B, and sync them in parallel and um, thereby um, allowing it to be charged with this high voltage charging platform at 800 volt later on. And this seems to get enabled by introducing switches that are connecting those two different battery packs actually according to this patent. And this way it seems it will be possible to connect different battery packs in series or parallel with different charging um, technologies either 400 volt or 800 volt. So long story short and this could be way more technical and of course these patterns always have some sort of a weird language to describe what's the innovation there. But anyways it seems like NEO will be able to upgrade their battery swapping stations to also allow for 800 volt um, high voltage um, technology then there might be different vehicles on the road either 400 volt or 800 volt technology. I don't know for example about the ET7 I've seen some rumors that this may actually already be based on an 800 volt charging infrastructure but so far we haven't heard that yet from um, NEO. And then the next separate element to look at is of course the battery itself. And here it seems that NEO is entering this kind of a modularization which will be may be able to um, merge older 400 volt battery packs into something that is able to uh, work with this 800 volt higher charging powered infrastructure and um, also giving more flexibility and also of course making this whole ecosystem working between the old and the new. And then of course with what we've seen in the video with the new co fund in the beginning this might be to some extent backwards compatible with old NEO cars and well depending on those new batteries with the 800 volt um, uh, yeah, technology being introduced into the swap system into the cars and also having the cars that are kind of um, supporting this infrastructure in the future. So uh, it seems at least that um, what the co-founder has said in the beginning um, is correct that yes NEO is internally working on how they're going to upgrade those kind of systems and here the interesting aspect is also of course with this modularization um, is this also a step towards what CATL has introduced and will this also enable a compatibility uh, between CATL and NEO and possibly also other car owners uh, and car manufacturers, car OEMs. I have mentioned in my video yesterday that there are rumors around even Axpong adopting this kind of technology. Anyways, I just found this uh, patent. I thought it's interesting. Um, I'll put it in my Patreon so you can read on this uh, pa um, patent in full extent if you want to. And then um, I'm looking forward to your comments and we'll see whether or not NEO at the next NEO day is possibly introducing this upgraded infrastructure. And uh, I have actually one more thing, but that's part of another video that I found around the battery technology of NEO. Um, something very exciting, but anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.